welcome back to my channel so on today's tutorial i'll be showing you how i made this dress please like subscribe and share and also hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video well on this dress i will just only draft the top part of the dress so i'm just making a straight line here and then this will be acting as my shoulder line and also the starting point so all the vertical measurement i'm gonna be measuring from the shoulder line or starting point so i'm just gonna go down here by 10 inches this is for my bust measurement and then i will also go down here by 16 inches this is the length of the top part of the dress and then after that i'll just make some horizontal lines like this and once i'm done with that i'm just gonna label the shoulder line the bust and also the waist and then from there i will just take my shoulder to shoulder measurements divided by two so in my case my shoulder to shoulder measurement it's about seven inches so i'm gonna take them it's 14 inches sorry so i'm gonna take 14 inches and divide it by two so if you see here i'm just marking the shoulder to shoulder measurements divided by two so which is seven right there so after that i'm gonna be creating the neck hole of the dress so i will just come here and then just mark three and a half inches so i started by marking four inches so i just decided to just mark three and a half inches so that's what i did and then after that i will come on this point here and then i will just go down by one inch so after doing that i will just join these two points together with a straight line so this is just for the shoulder slope and once i'm done with that i will just come on this point here and then i will mark my round arm measurements divide by two which is 16 divided by two it's eight inches so i marked eight inches and then i'm just gonna make a straight line like this after doing that i will just join these two points together like so so well now i'll be working on the waistline so i will take my round waist measurements divide by four and then after dividing it by four i will add another inch so it's round waist measurement divided by four plus one inch and after doing that i will come here on the bust point so i will take my bust measurements divide it by four and then i will just make a mark and i will just join the points together like this and i will also extend the line straight up like this and now i'll be creating the darts for this dress so I'll just go in by the nipple to nipple measurement, which is four inches. So I'm just gonna also come here on the bust point and then I'll just mark four inches. And then after doing that, I'll just make a line to join the two points together. So on the waistline, mark the nipple to nipple measurements divided by two and also on the bust. So to explain this, my nipple to nipple measurement is eight inches. So I took the eight inches divided by two, hence why I marked four inches on the waistline and also the bust point. Now on this point, I'm going down by one inch. And then after doing that, I will come here on the waistline. I will just mark 0 0.5 on the side of the line and then also 0 0.5 on the other side. So this is equal to one inch in total so once again i'm just gonna be draining the points here together to create the darts and guys when i cut on my fabric i'll only put in the darts on the back side of the dress so i won't be having any darts on the front part of the dress so i'm gonna go down by one inch so this is for the back part of the neck hole on the dress and once I'm done, I'm just going to be draining the two points together. And well, to drain this, you can just use a free hand or a curve ruler. Mm -hmm. 
moving on to the next step which is the armhole so i'm just gonna come here and then i will divide the line by two which i marked four inches and then after doing that i will just take my curve ruler and then just try to join the points here together so it does not really have to align if you are using a free hand just make sure that the important part is the curve down here and here i will be going down by six inches and then if you want it to be a little bit more revealing then you can go up to eight inches so i just join the point on the v-neck and then also the point i have on the shoulder line so once i'm done with it then i'm just gonna start off by cutting out the back on the fabric piece so guys i have a folding fabric here so i have two of this so i'm just gonna be cutting the front and the back together so if you check here on the bottom fabric i'm just gonna measure the one inch for the zipper allowance so once i'm done with that i'm just gonna make a straight line here and this is where on this line here this is where i'm going to place the top fabric for the front like this so guys i made a mistake here i only added half an inch for the sewing allowance so basically when you do this please just add extra one inch for the sewing allowance so this part here you see the green line here i just added half an inch for the sewing allowance so please just make yours one inch for the sewing allowance so well once i'm done with cutting out then i'll remove this and then i'll just open up the back piece right here so i'm just gonna join this back again while i'm inserting the zipper so this is what i have so now i'll be cutting out the front so i'm gonna take this back right here and then i will just come on the neckline and then i will just fold in this part here like this and then after folding in here like this then i'll just be cutting out so this is the front part of the dress and guys please please remember to just add one inch for the sewing allowance so once i'm done cutting this out i'm just gonna be cutting out the lining and this is the lining for the back and then i've also cut out the lining for the front so here what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna make a stitch here on the neck and then i will just take this then down and then i'm just gonna close in the parts and then i'll also just make a stitch here on the side so i'm just gonna be using half an inch for joining these two together so also here on the front part of the dress i'm just gonna make a stitch on the v-neck part and then i will also do the same on the sides so well now as you can see here i have joined the neck and the sides together for these pieces so what i'm gonna do now is i just also turn this inside out and i also just ironed as you can see how clean it looks so i'm just gonna place the front part to the back part like this and then i'll just align the shoulder lines together so i'm doing this thing right side facing each other so i'm just gonna take a lining here like this and then i will just turn it over like this and then i'll just pin to secure this part right here so it does not move and then this part is where i'm going to make a stitch <clears throat> and i will also do the same on the other shoulder
and when i'm done i'll just head over to my sewing machine and then just make a stitch to secure the shoulders together after making the stitch on the shoulder line so this is what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna turn over and then this is how the outside looks and then this is how the inside looks so you can see how neatly it's attached to each other so the next thing i will do is i'm just gonna be creating the dots on the back part well for the back part piece what i will do is i'm just gonna be folding in here so i'm just gonna be measuring from where the zipper allowance starts so i'm just gonna fold in here so this is just to make sure that i'm measuring on the right place and then from here i will just mark where the dots are and once i'm done with it i'm just gonna head over to my sewing machine so i can just secure the dots and that's it this is what i have after sewing in the dots so the next thing for me to do is i'm just gonna be working on the sleeves so i'm just cutting out the access here the ones i have on the armhole and guys i've already cut out the sleeve so this sleeve is just a basic sleeve if you don't know how to cut out the basic sleeve i have a video on my channel where i explain how to cut the basic sleeves so here as you can see i'm just attaching the sleeves to the top part of the dress and then after doing that i'm just gonna shoe in this part to secure everything together and that's it so i've attached the sleeves together so the next thing for me to do is to just cut out the excess i have here on the sleeves for a clean finish so once i'm done with that the next thing for me to do is i'm just gonna turn this over inside out so i can join the sleeves and the side part of the dress So this is where I'm going to make a stitch and this is what I have. This part here is where I'm going to make a stitch. And now I'll be working on the bottom part of the dress. So I have my fabric here which is very long. So I took my hip measurement and then multiply it by 3. You can also multiply it by 4 depending on how fluffy you want your gathers to be so you also measure the length so i'm just gonna come here and then i'll just make a loose stitch so i can get the gathers so this is where i have the gathers this is just the waistline so i'm just gonna take the bottom thread i have here and then i'm just gonna pull it together as i'm pulling it it's just making the gathers effect like so well when you're making this stitch on the waistline part so just make at least two stitches so that when you pull and then just in case one breaks then it's fine you will still have another one to work with so as I'm pulling down I'm just gonna measure the waistline I have on the top part of the dress and then I'm just gonna pull this together And this is it so I'm just gonna be joining the top part of the dress to this bottom part of the dress so I'm just gonna be using the pins to just secure this together and then I will head over to my sewing machine and then just make a stitch so this is the part where I'm going to make a stitch right here so I'm just gonna be using half an inch for the sewing allowance And that's it i'm done joining here so the next thing for me to do is to just work on the zipper part for the zipper i'll just turn this over 
and then make it right side facing like this and then i'll just make sure that i align the weights line together here so it can be perfectly joined when i insert the zipper so you see here i have the sewing allowance for the zipper and then this is just the bottom part so i'm just aligning everything here together and then i will just take my zipper and then i will just place it right here and then i will just mark where the zipper is going to end and then from where the zipper is ending i will just make a stitch from here down here and then this other part i will just join the zipper so if you can check here i just already joined in the zipper so the zipper is now attached so the next thing for this dress is to just hem the bottom and that's it for today's tutorial thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and share and then i will also see you on the next video